So what are the uh, challenges that you see in the beauty industry right now? The challenge? As compared to those when in you In the old started. days? Yes. Oh, okay. I guess nowadays it's the aesthetic mm -hmm. that comes into the market. People want fast, immediate results. And they doesn't mind paying you know, a large sum of money to have that immediate results. But end of the day, they never think of you know, the side effects some may have. Uh, so making beauty industry a bit tough with the aesthetic. So I, I'm, I'm seeing that the beauty industry is merging with aesthetic doctors. Um, so they, have, they are working hand in hand. Mm -hmm. So certain skin ailments, beautician cannot treat. They will refer to their partners, the yes. doctors, to do the job. And after that, it comes back to the beauty for maintenance, mm -hmm. to, to prevent, you know, it's, it's like maintenance and prevention for beauty. So the aesthetic is more on instant, um, what do you call it, instant healing, instant results. So it works both ways for now. So you say healthcare and beauty go hand in hand? Yes. Because the skin is a live organ, uh, um, you know, it, it produces cells and cells do age and it dies off, so we had shedding. Um, so certain things, beauty, we, we are not doctors, we, we don't have the PhD to diagnose any uh, more in-depth ailments. We need doctors' um, specialty in this, yeah. What do you think, what's attracting uh, global brands to come to India? Okay, um, I think India is very niche. You always believe in your own creation of herbs and spice, mm -hmm. which is good. Global brand is more like, you know, still we have customer, a group of customer that prefer international brands. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, India is an open market now for the global brands to come in and uh, to fit into this group of customers that's willing to pay for the products.